Deadly shooting Friday in Santa Monica. The gunman killed in the shootout has now been identified as John Zawari, as we are learning more about the arsenal he built up before the rampage. ABC's John Schriffen has the story. Investigators are sifting through this surveillance tape this morning, trying to figure out what could have driven 23-year-old John Zawari to allegedly open fire in the streets of Santa Monica Friday. Requesting assistance on a shooter, multiple victims down. Forcing terrified customers at this restaurant to duck. Police say Zawari, seen in these high school yearbook photos, is the same man seen in this newly released surveillance photo, dressed in black and carrying a semi-automatic rifle. Police say he was carrying as many as 1,300 rounds of ammunition. He's accused of killing five people before entering the Santa Monica College Library, where he was shot and killed by police. We want to express our condolences to the families of those who were killed by this cowardly murderer. Police say the rampage began at a home neighbors say he shared with his father. This woman who lives next door did not want to go on camera. We heard about five or six gunshots, but then I, I looked at uh, the window and there was smoke, a lot of smoke. Authorities say Zawari killed his father and brother, then burned the house down. Among the others, Zawari allegedly killed 68-year-old Carlos Franco, a Santa Monica College groundskeeper, and his 26-year-old daughter, Marcella. So the blessing is that they went together. They loved each other very much. For Good Morning America, John Schriffen, ABC News, Santa Monica.